Hello everybody! Today for art we are going to be making we are going to be making a selfie masked surprise. So we are going to be making a self-portrait which is a picture of us wearing a mask because during this time a lot of us are wearing masks to protect ourselves and to protect other people. So what you will need for this project you will need some paper, you will need something to color with. I'm using markers and I'm also using crayons. So if you guys would like to use both for a little bit of a combination of different colors and um, textures, you can use both as well. If you want to start with a pencil first, not a bad idea. I'm just going to be using a Sharpie because it's kind of hard to see pencil on the screen. So Sharpie, if you're feeling confident or a black marker is just fine or start with a pencil and trace over when you are finished. We are going to be also focusing on the elements of art today. So specifically line, color, shape especially, form, three-dimensional, and texture, how something feels, specifically in our hair. So go ahead and get those materials ready. I'm going to switch over my camera so you guys can see my desk, my very messy, messy desk. There we go. Focus. Give it a second. Okie dokie. So again, we are making a selfie mask surprise. It's a surprise because behind our mask, you can't really see our nice smile. So when we open it up, there's our real face, the real us. And also you're going to think about words that describe you. So things that, different types of words, kind, sweet, artistic, happy, um, any words you can think of that describe you. I just added some designs and color flair. If you want to ask a family member or maybe a friend, um, if you don't know what to put, and sometimes people see us differently, um, you know, ask a friend or family member to help describe you. So first thing we're going to need is a piece of paper. If you don't have any white paper, you can always use notebook paper. That is totally fine too. All right, I'm going to start by folding it because we have to do the folding surprise part. So start by folding it in half two short sides together hot dog fold i'm sorry hamburger fold you guys know hamburger fold if you've had me for art and make sure it's nice and smooth and we're going to take this top piece because there's two papers two pieces of paper right there take the top piece line up the top with the bottom and make sure it is lined correctly and then fold it okay and we're gonna start doing our face you don't need to fold the other part so you want to make you want you want to make it to the top of our head over here on the top of this fold okay we don't want to have it fill up the whole space so I'm gonna get my sharpie and I'm gonna measure my finger in the center and I'm gonna go above this fold again and I'm going to draw a big rainbow line for my eye and I'm gonna put a dot here and I'm going to move my finger out of the way and I'm going to draw another rainbow line for my eyes because I'm smiling and we're going to connect them so it looks like a semicircle. Now we're going to do the color part. If I'm going too fast guys you can always pause or rewind. So the color part and then the iris which is the small black part that we can that we see from. And I'm going to draw the color part of our eye and the iris and I'm coloring like a little moon shape in mine. You can do a different reflection if you would like. Um, and now I'm going to add some detail. Eyelashes that protect our eyes. Boys have them too. And we're going to add our eyebrows. Sometimes our eyebrows tell someone how we're feeling, especially when we're wearing a mask. So I'm going to put some friendly eyebrows. Um, all right, so now I'm going to put a dot in the middle of my head right here above my eyebrows so my, I can make my hair line. The hair line is where our hair begins. It's where kind of our forehead ends and our hair begins. So I'm going to draw a dot and I'm going to start on the side where my eyes are and I'm going to make a curved line to connect to that dot and then I'm going to go back down on this side as well. I'm trying to make it symmetrical, not always perfect, that's okay. Now I'm going to do the top of my ears. Boop. Boop, I'm not doing the bottom yet because we're not there yet. And for me, my hair, think about your hairstyle. Think about the texture of your hair. My hair is pretty smooth and it's in a ponytail. So I drew just a rainbow line up and then I drew some lines making it look like my hair is pulled back. And I also drew a ponytail on the side. So I'm going to do that part last. But for right now, I'm going to start by doing a rainbow line. If your hair is curly, maybe consider um, making a bumpy 
line. I have an example of that here. So I drew a bumpy line, a bunny hop line, on the top, and then I added two little pigtails because some people wear their hair in pigtails. I thought that would be a good example to show if anybody has that hairstyle. Again, if your hair is longer, just hang on one second. If your hair is short and you're maybe you're a boy and you have a short haircut, you can leave it just like that and add some texture to that. Okay? All right. So now that I have the top of my head, I'm going to do my chin. So I'm going to add a dot to the bottom. And you might want to, I'm going to use a pencil first because sometimes mine's too pointy. You want to make a curved line. You can even practice with your finger if that helps. I'm doing really light so you guys probably can't see. To kind of measure that out, it's really hard to draw a big line sometimes. And if I'm using a Sharpie, if I mess up, I have to make sure I turn it into something else, right? Because I can't erase it. And now I can do the rest of my ear and the rest of my hair if I need to do that. So I'm just going to draw some wavy lines going down for my ponytail. Don't forget the two lines, boop, boop, for your neck. And the mask part is pretty simple. It's just a rainbow line. Now think about designs for your mask. I was inspired by the mask that I have today. It's just kind of like a, like a granite kind of rock pattern, I guess, like a, maybe like a geode or something. Um, that was a little tricky, so I thought, mm, I'm inspired by the pattern, so I'm just going to make some wavy lines. Maybe for this one, I'll just do some stripes. And you guys can do it any color you want. You can do rainbow. I'm just going to leave it simple for the sake of time. You guys can design yours however you want. You can pause the video and work on it. Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot to add the lines to my ponytail. I was wondering what I forgot. thought it looked a little a little different. Okay. So now when you open up your surprise, you want to make sure that you have a big open space here, but you don't want to make your face all the way down here to where this mask part is. You want to use that space to add your words. So where this fold is right in the middle, I'm going to put a dot right in the middle above that line. And I'm going to, again, connect those two curve lines for my chin like I already did before. So I'm going to draw really light lines that you can't hardly see. Just to measure. You can even use your finger again if you want to measure with your finger. Imaginary line. And I'm going to add my smile now. Oh, I forgot my ears. Ears. Rest of my hair. And we're going to do our neck too. So you're going to do two lines. Boop, boop and then a curve line to connect them so it looks three-dimensional. So now that our mask is revealed, we've revealed our face, um, you want to add your nose and your mouth. So think about what that might look like. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to do a little bit of a different nose. Maybe I'll do this question mark nose this time, like an upside down question mark. And a big smile. You can have your mouth open, closed, I'm going to leave it closed this time. I like the way that looks. All right, so my face is done. You guys can spend the time coloring it. I'm not going to do all the coloring right now, um, but you get the point. You guys can personalize it. You color in your skin, your hair, your eyes. Now is the creative part. So use those words that people described you as um, or that you describe yourself as and start getting creative with that. Think about bubble letters. Um, maybe you can just write in cursive or you can just write just the way you normally would write. Add little designs to fill up your space. So I'm going to start with pencil first. And if you want to do bubble letters, just draw, just write the word first. Remember guys, you don't want to go above your ears. Because if you close this up and you go way up here by your head, you're going to see that when this is closed. So make sure you're not above your ear. Okay? So I'm going to write kind. And I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm just going to draw a bubble around it. That's why it's called bubble letters, because you can write, um, you can draw all your letters, and then you can just draw a bubble going around it. And then I can just take my eraser, and I can just erase the pencil. And then I can take my markers, and I can color in my word. I think it looks a little bit better if you use markers to color in your words first, and then you can use Maybe markers to color in your designs if you want to add some hearts or some different little patterns or anything in, in between. And I use crayons as kind of like the background color because it's a little bit lighter. Also a little tip, 
if you're coloring your skin or your hair. Um, broken crayons actually work really well. They actually work better than a brand new crayon because take the paper off, use the side of it, and that's how I did skin and my hair. It made it go a little bit faster. Okay, so I'm not going to color, like I said, I'm not going to color everything in, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how to construct this project, how to create it. You guys can get as creative as you want, add as many designs as you want. Now, when you're finished with this project, please make sure you take a picture of it and you send it to Miss Gao either through Dojo or through my canvas. Also, you want to make sure that you go to flipgrid.com and you type in your class code. It's either G-O-U-X-3 or four or five depending on which grade you are in make sure you go to the correct place I do look at all the videos and I do make sure that I have a video response for everybody so please make sure that you record a video showing me say hello my name is Miss Gao and here's a selfie mass selfie surprise that I created and you can actually show it in motion because I love pictures of these but either you get a picture of that or you get a picture of that. So I want to see it in motion. Okay, so make sure you go to flipgrid.com, type in your code, G-O-U-X, either three, four, or five, and then you can share your video so I can see it. I cannot wait to see your guys' project. Have a great day.